Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this monthly current affairs for the month of March 2019. So how are you people? Hope your preparation for the various examinations like LSE, AO, Railways, SSCGL and upcoming SBI PO examinations is going on well. Right? So let's not waste our time and let's move on to the first question in the monthly current affairs for March 2019 and be fast in answering the questions. Yes. Don't take more than 5 to 10 seconds for each question. Here is the first question for the monthly current affairs for the March 2019. Yes. The theme for 2019 Zero Discrimination Day is Act to Change Laws That Discriminate. It is observed on dash. Zero discrimination day. That means nobody should face discrimination or show discrimination towards others based on caste, religion, creed, gender, etc. That is called discrimination. Okay. So it is observed on 1st March and the theme of 1st Zero Discrimination Day for 2019 is Act to Change Laws that Discriminate. Next question. Who has been appointed as a new Finance Secretary in the Union Ministry of Finance? We have uh, come up with the free coaching for the SBI PO and uh, Bank and SSC examinations. Please make use of it and share this word to others too okay so who has been appointed as a new finance secretary it is Shubhash Chandra Garg was appointed as a new finance secretary in the Union Ministry of Finance next question who has been appointed as a non-executive chairman of Bank of Baroda chairman of Bank of Baroda recently the from 1st April onwards the Vijaya Bank and Dena Bank merger with Bank of Baroda has has come into effect right so who was appointed as a non-executive chairman of bank of baroda it is hasmuk adhya where is the headquarters of bank of baroda it is in vadodara and who is the md and ceo it is psj kumar and next question hasmuk adhya was appointed as a chancellor of which of the following central universities so Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Gujarat or none of these? Yes, it is. Gujarat Central University was appointed as a Chancellor of Gujarat Central University. Next, what is the growth rate of India's economy for the third quarter that is October to December forecasted by the Central Statistics Office? Yes, it is. Sorry. Six point six percentage for the third quarter. That is from October to December two thousand eighteen. Next, name the exercise that was held in Tripura between India and Bangladesh as part of the confidence building measures between India and Bangladesh. It is Mainamati Maitri exercise between India and Bangladesh. Next. Name the bank which has launched a Rice Knowledge Bank Assam, an agricultural web portal under its project Agri Business and Rural Transformation. So, which bank has launched this Rice Knowledge Bank Assam? So, it is World Bank is the right answer. Be fast in answering the questions. Who will be the head of eight member task force constituted by Reserve Bank of India to examine issues related to offshore rupee markets and recommend policy measures? Yes, it is. Usha Thorat committee will be head heading this committee on offshore rupee markets. On 1st March 2019, Ravneet Gill has taken the charge as the MD and CEO of. It is Yes Bank. Okay, the private sector lender Yes Bank. 
which state has launched Jala Amruta, an ambitious water conservation scheme? It is the Karnataka state which has launched this Jala Amruta or Jal Amruta. Next, Marayur Jagri has got the geographical indication tag that is GA tag from the central government recently. It belongs to which of the following district? So it belongs to Kerala and it belongs to Idikki district of Kerala, the Marayur Jagri type of sweet. What shall be the shape of rupees 20 coin to be introduced by the union government? Generally coins are issued by government of India that is Ministry of Finance plus one rupee note, right? Above one rupee note, all are issued by RBI, right? So what is the shape of new 20 rupees coin to be issued by the union government? It is door decagon. Okay, that means 12 edges. Pentagon with, sorry, door decagon with 12 edges. Polygon with 12 edges. Next. What's the theme of International Women's Day observed on 8th March? So what was the theme of it for 2019? It is Think Equal, Build Smart, Innovate for Change. Tista hydroelectric project is located in the state of recently Union Cabinet has approved this project. So it is in the state of Sikkim is the right answer. It is on Manas River. Sorry, Tista River, which is a tributary of the Brahmaputra. Next, Kiru Hydroelectric Project is located in the state of Kiru Hydroelectric Project is located in the state of. It is located in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Next, Baksar Thermal Power Project is located in the state of. These are recently uh, in news because of the union cabinet decisions. So, Baksar Thermal Power Project is in the state of Bihar. Kurja Super Thermal Power Project is located in the state of. It is in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Next. Which of the following has launched Bolo app to help children in India for reading and comprehension skills? So it is by Google. Google has launched this Bolo app for reading and comprehension skills for Indian students. The Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India has signed a cooperation agreement with DASH to train professionals. So it has signed with International Finance Corporation. It is part of World Bank Group. Okay, among the five organizations, it is one of them. Next. Who has been awarded with the Prisker Prize 2019? Prisker Prize is given in the field of architecture. So for 2018 it was given to an Indian. It is B.V. Doshi, Balakrishna Vital Das Joshi. And for 2019 it was given to Japanese architect Arato Izagaki. Okay, he is from Japan. Next, which of the following has become the 124th member to join the International Criminal Court, which is headquartered in the Hague, Netherlands? So, which of the following has become the 124th member? It is Malaysia. Malaysia is the right answer, its capital is Ringgit. 
sorry currency is ringgit and capital is Kuala Lumpur next Jerry Merriman co-inventor of the world's first handheld dash has passed away recently Jerry Merriman so it is he has invented the electronic calculator Jerry Merriman okay next which city has been adjudged the cleanest city in Swatch Survection Awards 2019 for the third time in a row? It is Indore, Indore in Madhya Pradesh. This has taken the first position, second position by Ambikapur in Chhattisgarh, and Mysore in Karnataka has taken the third place in the Swatch Survection Awards 2019. Which city has been adjudged the cleanest big city in Swatch Survey Action Awards 2019? Cleanest big city. It is Ahmedabad of Gujarat. Cleanest big city. Note down somewhere all these so that you can recall before the examination. And cleanest medium city. It is Ujjain. Cleanest medium city is big city is Ahmedabad and medium city is Ujjain. Which city has been adjudged cleanest small city? It is New Delhi. New Delhi has been adjudged the cleanest small city. Next, income tax exemption on gratuity has been increased from rupees 10 lakh to dash under the Payments of Gratuity Act. 1972 gratuity is paid to a company which has employees more than 10 employees so earlier it was 10 lakhs now it is increased to this 20 lakhs okay so up to 20 lakhs you can claim the gratuity exemption for income tax as per PM Modi, Dash 2019 is observed as Jan Aushadi Divas across India. Jan Aushadi Divas providing a cheaper medicines, right? Jan Aushadi stores. We have a scheme called PM BJP, right? Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadi Pariyojana, right? So it is observed on 7th March, Jan Aushadi Divas, 7th March. Who has been appointed as the director of Baba Atomic Research Center, BARC, which is headquartered in Trombe, in Maharashtra, near Mumbai. So it is, Ajit Kumar Mohanty was appointed as the director of BARC. Who has been appointed as a new DG of National Archives of India? Which stores all the archives like movies, pictures, CDs, etc. It is P. V. Ramesh. Next. Four legal 2019 and key result are the military exercises between. military exercises between South Korea and USA is the right answer. South Korea's capital is Seoul. Currency is 1. It is also the currency of North Korea 1. Kaja Kallas was appointed as the first female Prime Minister of which of the following country?
so it is for Estonia is the right answer okay Estonia's capital is Tallinn and currency is euro next Imran Tahir announced retirement from ODI cricket post 2019 World Cup he belongs to which of the following countries Imran Tahir it is South Africa he belongs to South African cricket team next the Indian government has signed dash million dollar agreement with dash for rural, national rural economic transformation project to boost rural incomes in India NRETP so it has signed with World Bank with 250 million US dollars for NRETP project to boost rural incomes in India and India and World Bank have signed USD 96 million loan agreement for financing dis disaster recovery project off. The project of Uttarakhand is the right answer. Next. India has signed dash million loan with World Bank for Chhattisgarh public financial management and accountability program. Note down somewhere all these, all the data and numerical data along with what is the purpose. It is 25.2 million for this Chhattisgarh public finance management program with World Bank. Singapore based DBS Bank has launched its first branch in India at DBS Bank is based in Singapore so it has launched its first branch at Ahmedabad of Gujarat next why did where did PM Modi launch the Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandhan Yojana it provides uh, for unorganized workers the pension scheme with income less than 15,000 per month right rupees 3,000 per month will be provided for those persons for the age of above 60 years right so it was launched in the Gujarat who was appointed as the executive chairman of National Legal Services Authority NALSA It provides uh, free legal services to those who cannot afford. So it is Justice Bobde was appointed earlier. It was AK Sikri. Now it is Justice Bobde. India has become the dash team to secure 500th win in ODIs. So it is the second team. First is Australia. Second is India to secure 500th win in ODIs. Women officers will now be granted permanent commission in all dash branches of the Indian Army. The Defense Ministry has announced recently on 5th March. So women officers in all 10 branches of Indian Army will be appointed. ISRO has launched Yuva Vaignanik Karakram or young scientist program for children studying in dash so those who have completed their ninth class or those who have studying in ninth class they will be given this opportunity to join this Yuva Vaignanik Karakram or young scientist program who has been appointed as the Asian Games 2022 coordination committee chairman from India Yes, Asian Games 2022, it, they will be held in Hangzhou of China, right? So it is Randir Singh who was appointed as the Coordination Committee Chairman from India. Where did Modi inaugurate Expo Come Conference on Construction Technology India 2019? So it was inaugurated in the National Capital, New Delhi. Note down all the New Delhi events and others 
along with their place of occurrence. Who has won the men's singles title in the 27th ATP edition of Dubai Tennis, which was his 100th ATP singles title? I think you can know. You can say it easily. It is Roger Federer, right? Recently has won his 101st. It is in the Miami Open, right? In April, first week of April. Bhagwan Lal Sahini was appointed as the chairman of National Commission for Dash. National Commission for Backward Classes, NCBC. Recently it was made a constitutional body under Article 338B. Okay, next what was the theme of World Wildlife Day that was observed on March 3rd? World Wildlife Day. There are many important days in March. So note down somewhere and recall. So it is life below water for people and planet is a theme of World Wildlife Day observed on 3rd March. DRD was chairman. Dash has won the Missile Systems Award of the Afri American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Who is the DRDO Chairman, Defense Research and Development Organization Chairman? G. Satish Reddy is the Chairman who has won this award. Next. Government of India and ADB has signed Dash Million Loan Dollars Agreement for Mumbai Metro Rail Project. Yes, it is. 926 million. Note down all the statistics somewhere. So that you can recall before the exam. According to US based rating agency Moody's quarterly global macro outlook, India economy is expected to grow at dash percentage in 19 and 20. Yes, first Jan is DRDO day, right? Surubi is right. So it has predicted 7.3%. Recently RBI has predicted 7.2%, right? Okay. How much amount was approved by the cabinet as the share capital of RBI in National Housing Bank? So National Housing Bank is headquartered in Mumbai. Harsh Kumar Banwala is the chairman. It is a statutory body. Right. NABAD Act of 1981 was established in 1982 through NABAD Act of 1981. So for 1450 crores the share capital of RBA was approved for, right? Which insurance company launched India's first policy to protect bank locker such as jewelry, title documents and other valuables? To protect bank locker itself. Generally we put these articles for its production. Now bank locker has to be protected. So it is IFCO, Indian Farmer Fertilization Company, Fertilizers Company, Tokyo General Insurance has provided this first policy to protect bank locker. Who became the member of 15th Finance Commission after Shaktikanta Das has resigned? Who is the chairman of 15th Finance Commission? It is from 2020 to 25, the time period. N.K. Singh is the chairman, right? It is Ajay Narayan Jha was, has become the member of 15th Finance Commission. New super, super premium credit card Emerald was launched by it was launched by ICICI Bank. Next, which bank has stopped highest in the implementation of reforms agenda, according to BCG IBA report on Ease Reforms Index released by Union Ministry of Finance and Corporate Affairs. Last year, this same bank has stopped in financial transactions. This question was asked once. Now, this also may be asked. Topped in the implementation of reforms 
agenda generally we don't think this bank will top but this has stopped it is Punjab National Bank remember this in the reforms agenda very important question last year also this bank has stopped in the financial transactions this question has come in one of the ex mains exam what is the name of the payment gateway launched by IR IRCTC so it is IPay is the right answer next the union cabinet has recently approved to set up this 22nd AIMS Institute at AIMS at that is All India Institute of Medical Sciences recently in, it was mentioned in the budget also so 22nd AIMS will be coming up in Haryana next the union cabinet has approved to set up the center for disability sports at we have sports university right sports university in Manipur and center for disability sports at Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh stars scheme for translation and advanced research in science to fund science projects with a budget of 250 crores was launched by So generally we think it is Ministry of Science and Technology but it is not the answer it is Ministry of Human Resource and Development. Who has become the first player in the world to hit 500 sixes and there is an autobiography on him also. What is the autobiography of him? Six machine. So who is he? The West Indies cricketer Chris Gale. Name the first Indian origin woman to be honored with Blue Plague at Fort Taverton Street in Bloomsbury, London. She is the first woman spy in the Second World War. Who is she? She is Noor Inayat. She is Indian uh, origin lady. Next. Name the 116 year old Japanese woman who has, was honored as the world's oldest living person by Guinness World Records. It is Kane Tanaka, 116 year old Japanese woman. Okay. Who was appointed as a goodwill ambassador of UN Development Program recently? It is Padma Lakshmi, Bollywood actress Padma Lakshmi. Next. After Kumanam Rajshekhan has Rajshekran has resigned, Jagadish Muki was appointed as the governor of Dash in addition to his own duties of Assam governor. So it is Mizoram. Which state has launched Yuvashri Arpan scheme for financially assisting young entrepreneurs with rupees 1 lakh? So it was launched by the state of West Bengal to assist the young entrepreneurs with rupees 1 lakh. Name the app launched by Hardeep S. Puri, Ministry, Minister for Housing and Urban Affairs to make all the three modules conversion, conversion, substitution and mutation online. So it is E. Dharti is the right answer. Who was appointed as the chief scientist at the World Health Organization, which is headquartered at Geneva of Switzerland? We have provided an e-book also for the headquarters. So make take that free e-book. It is categorized based on the places. What are the organizations at Geneva? What are the organizations at Paris? All those. So who is it? It is Swamya Swaminathan has become the chief scientist at WHO. ADB and Government of India has signed a loan agreement worth 26 million USD for improving drainage infrastructure in which of the following cities. So it is in Dibrugar town of Assam. 
The Government of India, World Bank and representatives of five states signed the loan agreement for additional financing of Dash million dollars for the dam rehabilitation and improvement project. So it is 137 million USD. Dash has launched free meal scheme for Anganwadi's children. Which state has launched this? It is by the state of Uttarakhand. The total liabilities of the government has increased to Dash lakh crore at the end of December 2018 quarter of 1819. So they have increased it to liabilities means debt, total liability of the government. RBI has eased business guidelines for which of the following ATMs to source cash directly from the central bank. Earlier they were sourcing from the normal banks or which they have the third party. So it is white label ATMs very best example is the Tata Indicash ATM right so it is a white label ATM the board will be of Tata Indicash the maintenance everything is done by the Tata Tata company the third party but the money and software will be supplied by the respective bank now they can also go for RBI where did PM inaugurate a factory to manufacture AK-203 rifles, the latest version of Kalanishov series with Russian collaboration? So it was launched in Amethi of Uttar Pradesh. PM was telling, right, made in Amethi rifles. So Amethi of Uttar Pradesh. WHO has observed World Hearing Day with the theme 2019 as check your hearing on. It is observed on 3rd March. Who was reappointed as the chairman of the T board? So it is PK Bezbarwa was appointed as the chairman of T board. Name the short range air to air missile which is used which was used to shot down a Pakistani F-16 by Abhinandan Vartman from MiG-21 Bison. So what was the name of the short range air to air missile? It is R-73 missile which was used by him to shot down this F-16. Who was appointed as the new president of Senegal, the African country Senegal? Senegal's capital is Dakar and its currency is West Central African franc. So it was Macky Sal. Next, where was the fourth session of United Nations Environment Assembly held? Under the United Nations Environment Program which is headquartered at Nairobi of Kenya. So it was held in UNEP headquarters only. What was the theme of fourth session of UNEA that is United Nations Environment Assembly held in Nairobi Kenya. So it is innovative solutions for environment challenges and sustainable production and consumption name the new service launched by sbi for its customers to withdraw money from atms without using debit cards without using debit cards yes it is yono cash is the right answer. Yono's full form is you only need one. Its tagline is lifestyle and banking dono. Who has won the business line change maker of the year award for introducing goods and service tax in New Delhi? So it was won by Arun Jaitley, the finance minister at that time, who has introduced GST on 1st July, GST day, 1st July 
2017. Name the multi-wavelength space observatory used by astronomers to discover new population of ultraviolet stars in the globular cluster NGC 2808. So this is of India, Astrostar observe, Observatory, this is of India, ISRO. Where did Hamsafar Trust inaugurate the India's first lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and queer LGBTQ clinic and HIV treatment center? So it was inaugurated in Mumbai. Where did President of India inaugurate Festival of Innovation and Entrepreneurship? So he was inaugurated in Gandhinagar of Gujarat. India to host under 17 women women football cup in last year it has hosted on under 17 men's right in Odisha so it will be held in 2020 by India the under 17 women's football world cup which of the following releases global environment outlook so it is released by United Nations Environment Program. What is the theme of 6th edition of Global Environment Outlook Report which was published in 2019? It is Healthy Planet, Healthy People. Dash has launched a manual of innovative teaching ideas called Navachar Pustika which has which is a compilation of innovating teaching ideas contributed by teachers themselves. So it was launched by HDFC Bank as part of its corporate social responsibility, the Navachar Pustika. When is the consu World Consumer Rights Day observed every year? World Consumer Rights Day is observed on 15th March. Okay. What is the theme of World Consumer Rights Day 2019 which is observed on 15th March? So it is Trusted Smart Products. Next. When was World Sleep Day 2019 observed across the world? Yes, 24th December is National Consumer Rights Day. 15th March is World Consumer Rights Day. World Sleep Day is observed on 15th March along with World Consumer Rights Day. He wrote turmeric which has got GA tag is from which of the following states. So he wrote is generally from Tamil Nadu, right? So can you can easily answer this question. Who was awarded with Param Vishist Seva Medal? So it was given to the army chief Bipin Rawat. The RBA has recategorized which among the following bank has private sector lender because it was acquired by LIC. IDBI bank was named as private sector lender okay now totally public sector banks with this 21 minus 1 20 right and minus 2 what are those Dena Bank and Vijaya Bank were merged with Bank of Baroda or not so totally how many public sector banks do we have now total 18 public sector banks on 1st April 2018 which among the following banks makes its name in the recently released list of domestic systematically systemically important banks DSIBs by the RBI so what do you mean by this this means too big to fail that means these banks are too big that they cannot fail Okay, so which are those SBI, ICICI and HDFC or the present three banks which are under DSIBs. 
Where was the ninth round of US India Strategic Security Dialogue held? So it was held in Washington DC in USA. Which of the following teams has won the Syed Mustakali Trophy 2019? Yes, they must contribute 2% of GDP to the country, these DSIBs. So Syed Mustakali Trophy was won by Karnataka. This belongs to cricket. Who has won the men's singles title in the 2019 All England Open Badminton Championships? So it was won by Kento Memata. Next. Who has won the women's singles title in the 2019 All England Women Open Badminton Championships? It is none other than Chen Yufi of China. So Kento Memata, men's singles. So note down somewhere men's, women's, all the events here. England, India Open like that so that you can easily remember who has been appointed as chairman of LIC the life insurance corporation of India which has acquired recently IDBI so it is MR Kumar was appointed its headquarters is in Mumbai Dash has become the third company to cross 6 lakh crore market capitalization after Reliance Industries and TCS. So what do you mean by MCAP? MCAP is equal to number of shares into value of the shares. So when you add all these, you will get the market capitalization, total money held by that company in that market. So it is. HDFC Bank after Reliance Industries Limited and TCS. India observes Dandi March Day or Salt Satyagraha Day on. So on this day Gandhiji has started from Sabarmati Ashram 1930 and reached Dandi on 6th April 1930 and took handful of salt and said we are no more to live under this British made salt rules. Okay. So 12th March is the right answer. Which cities of India were rated as most livable cities in India as per Mercer report recently? Most livable cities in India. So they are Hyderabad and Pune as per Mercer report. Al Naga 3 2019 is a joint military exercise between. So it is between India and Homa Noman's capital is Muscat. Its currency is real. Which city is hosting the 15th Special Olympics World Games 2019? It has already hosted. So it is Abu Dhabi of UAE Special Olympics World Games Dash Royal Mint on 12th March unveiled a new commemorative 50 pence coin inspired by the late legendary British physicist Stephen Hawking's seminal work on black holes so which is that country already we have said British so it is UK when was the World Kidney Day 2019 observed globally? It's observed on 14th March. Rakesh Makija was appointed as a non-executive chairman of. For Axis Bank and MD and CEO of Axis Bank is Amitabh Chaudhary. And chairman is Rakesh Makija. Okay. India ranks dash in gold holding ranking released by World Gold Council. So it ranks 11th in gold holding. 
okay first is USA Dash has launched doorstep banking for senior citizens over 70 years and differently abled yes it is was launched by SBI which nation has stopped in gold holding ranking just now I've told you it is USA and India has ranked 11th XRBI governor Dash has received Yashwant Rao Chavan national award so it is Raghuram Rajan has won this award for his contribution to finance India has approved Dash million dollar agreement investment for infrastructure projects in Nepal so it is 250 million dollar agreement okay Internet of Things India Congress will be held in Dash on August 22nd, 23rd, 2019. So it will be held in Bengaluru, Internet of Things. Internet of Things means connecting everything to Internet is Internet of Things. Which country is hosting or hosted the 2019 South Asian Football Federation Women's Championship? So it was hosted by Nepal and won by India. We'll see that question also. For the first time in the Arcanat sector, Sirsi Supari, grown in Dash, has received the geographical indication tag. Sirsi Supari, grown in Uttar Karnataka or Uttar Karnada, North Karnataka. The first time in Arcanat sector. Which country has become the largest importer of arms in the world for 2014-18 as per CIPRI report? Stockholm International Peace Research Institute based in Stockholm, Sweden. So which is that country? It is Saudi Arabia is the largest importer of arms. And where is what is the position of India? It is second. So first is Saudi Arabia. And second is India. Which country has become the largest exporter of arms for 1418? Importer is Saudi Arabia, second is India, and exporter is none other than USA. Name the following who were conferred with Bhadma Vibhushan for 2019. So all of them were conferred with Padma Vibhushan. The second highest civilian award after Bharat Ratna. Singer Tijan Bai, A.M. Nayak of LNT, Balwand Moreshwar Purandre of Maharashtra, Jibouti's president Ismail Omar Kule. Name the following who were conferred with Padma Bhushan for 2019. So it is Mohanlal and Kuldeep Nair, posthumously, he, he was a journalist. Post Muslim means after death. Mohanlal is an actor based in Kerala. Name the following were conferred with Padma Shri for 2019. All of them were given Prabhudeva, Shankar Madhyan, Bajrang, Punya, Kadar Khan. C. Lalswa becomes the first Lokayukta of. So first look at the of Mizoram is the right answer. Which city has hosted the 34th edition of AHAR International Food and Hospitality Fair? So it was hosted by the national capital. Who has invented the World Wide Web? Recently it has turned 30 years, right? So it was invented by Tim Berners-Lee. Somebody asked, where are you going? I am going, I am going to drink water. Okay. 
who was conferred honorary doctorate from the UN established U University of Peace. So it was given to Vice President Venkai Naidu. So Union U University of Peace is located in San Jose. Okay. In Costa Rica. Which of the following bank has sanctioned loans worth Rs. 689 crores to over 1600 MSMEs via its portal dedicated port portal for loans in 59 minutes? So it is none other than Punjab National Bank has given 689 crore loans to 1600 MSMEs. Students from which of the following institute have developed an app to detect fake currency? it is IIT Kharagpur in West Bengal they have detected developed an app to detect fake currency name the country where the entire government has resigned after failing to achieve a key policy goal on social welfare and health care reform so it is Finland okay Just a minute. The Supreme Court has considered three member mediation panel for the amicably settlement of Ayodhya's Ram Janmabhumi Bambri Masjid case. Who was appointed as the head of the panel? So it was FM Kalifullah and the three members are these three people Sri Ravi Shankar and Sri Ram Panchu and FM Kalifullah will be the head of this panel. Which of the following became the first bank to link its interest rate on savings account with a balance above rupees 1 lakh on short term loans to the repo rate? of the Reserve Bank of India. Generally all the banks link all loans are linked to MCLR that is marginal cost of lending rates. Now SBI has come up with this idea above rupees 1 lakh all the loans will be linked to the repo rate. Okay so remember this. Which bank extends loan worth rupees 4,100 crores for Vizag Metro Rail project? So it is Korea Exim Bank that is Export Import Bank of Korea. Next, which state ha or UT hosted the India and Japan Joint Space Dialogue? So it was hosted by the National Capital in New Delhi. Which team has taken the I-League title 2019 which is a men's professional football league in India? So it is Chennai city is the right answer. Mohamed Staye has been named as a Dash new Prime Minister. He was named as the President of Palestine. IRDA along with NHA form a working group to curb fraud in Aishman Bharat scheme who was appointed as the head of the working group. So it is Dinesh Arora was appointed for this group to curb fraud in Aishman Bharat scheme. During a state visit to Tamil Nadu PM Modi has renamed Chennai Central Railway Station after which of the following leaders. So it was renamed to M.G. Ramachandran, the Central Railway Station, who has won the Chemeli Devi Jain Award for Outstanding Woman Journalist. So it was given to Priyanka Dubey of BBC News Hindi. West Nile fever sometimes seen in news, it was in Dash. It was seen in Dash, it was seen in Kerala. Okay caused by the mosquitoes which country has recently decided to join China's ambitious Belt and Road initiative 
so it is Italy Italy is the only G7 nation to join the Belt and Road Initiative of China remember this who is said to be India's first anti-corruption who is already appointed the first Lokpal of India it is I think you can easily answer PC Ghosh Pinaki Chandra Ghosh along with eight other members 40 percentage are from judicial among these eight members and 40 percentage are others and they also belong to SCST women and minorities who is the recipient of 2019 template and price so it was given to Marcelo Gleiser for literature Joint military exercise Sari Arka anti terror 2019 is related to somebody says I rarely know the answers. You have to practice daily current affairs so that you can answer these questions very easily. So it is related to Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which is headquartered in not in Shanghai but in Beijing. Okay, it is a grouping of eight nations. So this will be held in Kazakhstan in 2019, Sarah Arka Anti-Terror. Power Finance Corporation will acquire the 52.63% shares of the government in Rural Electrification Corporation for rupees how much? So it will acquire for 14,500 crores. So it has become the second largest financial firm after SBI with this acquire. Who has been appointed as the next Chief of Naval Staff? Somebody says how to remember you have to watch the weekly current affairs. I come up with weekly current affairs every week on every Monday at 6 p.m. So then you can revise it. Okay, on Talents Print. For Talents Print students. So Chief of Naval Staff India, Karambir Singh. When you recall two to three times, you can easily remember. World Tuberculosis Day. When is it observed? World TB Day is observed on 24th March. And what is the theme of it? It's a time. Okay, World TB Day. When is Martyrs Day or Shahid Divas of Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Shivaram observed in India? They were assassinated or they were hanged in the year 1931 for their actions as part of Hindustan Social Republic Association. So it was observed on 23rd March 1931. We also have Martyrs Day, okay, that is on 30th January, the death of Mahatma Gandhi, that is also a Martyrs Day, 30th Jan 1948. Which team has cleansed the 2019 South Asian Football Federation Women Championship? So it was won by India against the host Nepal. Government has reached the disinvestment target for the financial year 1819 to dash against its target 80,000 crores. So extra 5,000 crores was achieved. So total 85,000 crores was achieved. Disinvestment means selling of shares in government companies. That is called disinvestment. That is public sector undertakings. So you'll, government will get money. A new book titled Every Vote Counts was authored by. So it was authored by the former election chief election commissioner Naveen Chawla. Delhi Indira Gandhi Airport has become the dash busiest in the world as per Airport Council's international report. So it has become 12th busiest. Next, when is the World Meteorological Day observed? It is observed on. 24th March by World Meteorological Organization 
is headquartered in Geneva of Switzerland. What is the theme of World Meteorological Organization? So, World Meteorological Day actually. So it is the sun, the earth and the weather. Bihar celebrates its foundation day on dash after its separation from Bengal presidency in 1912. So it observes on 22nd March, it was separated as Bihar and Orissa province in 1912 and Orissa was separated from 1st April 1936 and SP Sina was the first lieutenant governor of Odisha. The earth watching Prisma satellite was launched by, so it was launched by Italy, Please just now we have seen Italy has joined is the only G7 nation to join Belt and Road Initiative. Where was India's deepest shaft cave discovered recently? So it was discovered in Meghalaya. All the natural wonders will occur in Meghalaya only. Afghanistan has won its first ever test match by beating which of the following nations? So beating Ireland. First test match it has played with India in Bangalore last year. When is the World Day of Water celebrated? It is observed on 22nd March. And what is the theme of it? Is the next question. Life, sorry, leaving no one behind. We have to save water for the future generations. Which of the following is a joint military exercise between India and Sri Lanka? It is Mitra Shakti. Recently it was held Mitra Shakti 6. Dash Olympics torch was unveiled recently. Tokyo Olympics 2020. Okay. Where was the 33rd edition of India Indonesia Coordinated Patrol that is Indo, in Indo Corpat inaugurated? It was inaugurated in Port Blair of Andaman Nicobar Islands. Who was designated as the first transgender election ambassador in India? It is Gauri Savant in Maharashtra. India secured dash position in the UN World Happiness Report. Which position is it? 140th. And which nation has stopped the second time in a row? It is Finland. Finland has taken the first position. India has taken 140th position and 156th is South Sudan. Who has founded the International Day of Happiness? It was founded by Jamie Ilian. Generally, 20th March is uh, the day of equinox, right? 20th or 21st March. Equal day and equal night will happen on 20th or 21st March. Who was awarded with the Vyas Samman 2018? So it was given to Leeladhar Jagudi. Kazakhstan's first and only president who announced his resignation on March 19th after 29 years of power it is Nur Sultan Nazarbayev and the capital of Kazakhstan was changed from earlier it was Astana now it is Nur Sultan the capital of sorry the currency of okay The capital is presently Nur Sultan and the currency is Tenge, Kazakhstani Tenge. World Poetry Day is observed on. I am myself a poet, okay. I think some of you may not be knowing it. I have a blog.sripoems.wordpress.com. You can see my poems there. World Poetry Day is observed on 21st March. Next, International Day of Forests is observed on. It is observed on 21st March. So, World Poetry Day 
and International Day of Forest. World Wildlife Day, 3rd March. So you have to, there are many important days in uh, March. What is the theme of International Day of Forest observed on 21st March? So it is Forest and Education. Which IPL franchise has launched its first cricket academy in the UK? So it is Rajasthan Royals launches first cricket academy in the UK. International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination is observed on is observed on 21st March. So three days. An international workshop on disaster resilient infrastructure that is IDWRI was held in New Delhi. International Day of Happiness, just now we have discussed, Jaime Alien has founded it. It is observed on 20th March. Because the equinox will appear on either 20th or 21st March. That's why 20th March was chosen. And what is the theme of International Day of Happiness? It is Happier Together is a theme. Next. Who has become the first woman to win prestigious Abel Prize for Mathematics? F Fields Medal is called as Nobel Prize for Mathematics. Okay. So it was given to Karan Ulbeck of US. The 14th CAA Exim Bank Conclave on India-Africa Project Partnerships was held in New Delhi. If you remember where others are held, no need to remember New Delhi things. World Sparrow Day. World Sparrow Day is observed on 20th March. International Happiness Day and World Sparrow Day. Global Recycling Day is observed on. Is observed on 18th March. And what is the theme of it? We have to do recycling to save the Mother Earth, right? From pollution and future generations have to sustain. So it is recycling into the future. Observed on 18th March. Name the book which Raghu Karnad was awarded with Pindham Campbell Prize in the UK. So it is farthest field an Indian story of Second World War is the name of this book. How many official languages does UN have? It has six official languages. So that's why one of it is French. French language day is observed on. It is observed on 20th March. So there are many important days in March. So note down somewhere. Excluding chairperson, how many members are present in Lokpal? Eight, we have already seen. PC Ghos is a chairman for Lokpal, right? Who was sworn in as the new Chief Minister of Goa? I think most of you know it, Pramod Savant. Which city hosted the third Indo-Japan workshop on disaster risk reduction? It is by New Delhi. Among the following banks has got RBL approval for acquisition of Group Finance. So it was acquired by Bandhan Bank, which is headquartered in Kolkata. Its MD and CEO is Chandrasekhar Ghosh. Which city or cities were declared as world's most expensive to live in as per Economic Intelligence Unit's biannual survey of 133 cities? So all of them, earlier it was only Singapore, now Paris and Hong Kong were also declared as most expensive cities. Which company has launched Project Sangam to boost India's Swachh Bharat mission? So it is Microsoft. Which of the following has become the first Coast Guard ship to visit Indonesia? It is INS Vijit. Which of the following, I think we have seen this, DSIBs. Which of the following teams has won the Indian Super League title 2018-19 for football? 
so it was won by Bangalore FC Indian athlete Irfan KT has qualified for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in which category this is the first to qualify in which category race walking is the right answer who has become the second Indian woman golfer to win an event on ladies European tour so first is Aditi Ashok second is Deeksha Dagar who has won the F1 Australian Grand Prix title 2019 Valtteri Bottas recently Bahrain was won by Lewis Hamilton right joint field training exercise affindex began on March 18 2019 between India and which group of nations Africa affindex means Africa right Africa and India name the second corpine class carbon to be inducted in Indian Navy first was INS Calvary second is INS Kandiri which Indian organization has decided to set up a regulatory sandbox for fintech startups it is RBI fintech means financial technology startups which railway station has won the gold rating by Indian Green Building Council it was given to Vijayawada railway station of Andhra Pradesh for promoting environment friendly activities which asset management company has launched Bharat consumption scheme recently ICIC Prudential Mutual Fund when was World Theatre Day observed it observed on 27th March first Indian Army mountaineering expedition held in which mountain it was held at Mount Makalu the border of Nepal and China where is the world's largest e-waste recycling plant inaugurated it was inaugurated at Dubai Industrial Park Dubai e-waste recycling plant which city has become the first city to install wireless induction based charging stations it is Oslo of Norway so no need to have wires with induction we can get the electricity charged into the electricity vehicles who was designated as a new strategic forces command chief SFC chief it is NS Dillon PFC has been named the India's second largest government owned firm after just now I've told you power finance corporation has become the second largest first is SBI which of the following has become the world's highest polling station at 15,256 feet from the mean sea level it is Tashigang in Himachal Pradesh who has been appointed as a new BCCI's ad hoc ethics officer it is GK Jain book named Indian fiscal federalism was authored by Dash and GR Reddy has been released recently the former RBA governor YB Reddy along with GR Reddy has written this book Chief Electoral Officer of Assam has launched a new initiative called the Enajori to create voter awareness in Gauhati. Who has become the first to score a century in IPL 2019? Score a hundred. It is Sanju Samson. When is World Idli Day observed? World Idli Day observed on 30th March. Nobel laureate Amat Sen has got the prestigious Bodley Medal, which is the highest honor conferred by the Oxford University. Which country recently discovered the world's largest, longest salt cave? So generally, Dead Sea is the highest salty sea, right? Salty lake. So it is it is in near to Dead Sea in Israel is the right answer. Which airport was crowned the best aviation hub for the seventh time in row as per the Skytrax World Airport Awards? 
It is Singapore's Changi Airport. Who has become the second batsman after Suresh Raina to score 5,000 IPL runs? It is Virat Kohli. First is Suresh Raina. Second is Virat Kohli. Who among the following, which of the following awards is also known as Nobel Prize for Computing? It is Turing Award, named after A. M. Turing, who was a pioneer in artificial intelligence. So, who has won the 2018 Turing Award, which is a Nobel Prize for Computing? It is all the three of them have won. Wipro has joined hands with Dash for research on 5G and artificial intelligence. So it has partnered with IIT Karakpur. Just now we have seen, right? To detect fake currency also, IIT Karakpur. Which celebrity has launched the independent music label called Inc. 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 Launched by Ranveer Singh. Who is the author of the latest non-fiction book titled India Positive which is set to release on 1st May 2019. It was launched, was written by Chetan Bhagat. India Positive. He has written India 2020 also, right? India has become the la dash largest space power after successful test of anti-satellite missile system. So first is US. Second is Russia. Third is China. Now India is the fourth largest space power with its launch of anti-satellite missile. It has destroyed its own satellite in the lower orbit of at a distance of 300 kilometers. SEBI has said the transfer of shares of listed companies can be done only in Dash format from a 1st April 2019 in DMAT form. So no physical forms only in DMAT account form. They have to transfer shares of listed companies from 1st April 2019. Which of the following platform was introduced by Bank of Baroda related to agriculture? It is Baroda Kisan. Multi-dimension poverty index is published by United Nations Development Program which is headquartered in New York. Which nation has honored India President Ramnath Kovin with highest Civilian Award, the Grand Order of the King of Tomislav. So it is Croatia, its currency, its capital is Zagreb, its currency is Kuna. N.S. Srikanth was appointed as the chairman of Karur Vaishya Bank, headquartered in Karur of Tamil Nadu. World Purple Day is observed on create awareness on the color of same day we also have epilepsy awareness day March 26th next as part of seven peaks expedition mountain climber Malavat Purna scaled her fifth cardinals pyramid in dash she is the youngest to scale Mount Everest so she want to scale seven peaks so this is her fifth peak cardinals pyramid is in Indonesia Azil Asmoni was elected as the president of president of Comoros. Comoros capital is Moroni and currency is a franc. What is the position of India on W World Economic Forum Global Energy Transition Index? It is 76th. World Economic Forum is headquartered in Cologne of Switzerland. And which nation has topped this list? Sweden. In happiness, Finland. In global energy transition, Sweden. The first set of four Chinook heavy lift helicopters were brought from which country by India? It was brought from US. Who has won the Global Teacher Prize 2019? was given to Kenyan teacher for his contribution to teaching Peter Tabichi. RBI has appointed five member committee under the chairmanship of DASH to strengthen digital payments in India. 
it is nandan nilekani committee to strengthen digital payments in india very important where was fintech conclave organized by niti aayog held it was held in new delhi indian navy has inaugurated nbctf in ins shivaji ins shivaji is located in lonavala of maharashtra so what is the full form of nbctf it stands for nuclear biological and chemical training facility where did axis bank open its 4000 branch it opened in pune okay actually its headquarters is in mumbai 4000 branch in pune so last question of the day at the age of 1 or 3 who has clinched gold in short put go event in the world's masters athletic meet in torun poland so who is she it is man kaur from punjab the age of 1 or 3 she has clinched gold in short put at this event okay we have completed around 260 plus questions and you are patient enough to answer all these questions so practice is only key practice as many questions as possible to get your success as soon as possible okay so thank you so much for joining i'll meet you next time take very good care of yourself bye